Spotlight. This time on Comic Spotlight, Ken Mathias, John Goodwin, Vince Quick, and I'm your host, Video Bob! <laughs> Welcome back to Comic Spotlight TV, ladies and gentlemen. I want to bring up our next comic, ladies and gentlemen. All it says here is Tony. So, Tony, price is right, come on down. It must be Tony. So, welcome to Texas, you all. Hey, I can do that now because I am a naturalized Texan. Oh yeah, I'm a naturalized. I had been living here 10 years, so I went down to Austin and I took the test. Oh, it was easy. All I had to do was use y'all, my kid, fixin' the, and yonder correctly in a sentence. Y'all, my could be fixin' the wanda over yonder. I screwed up the next part though, and I gotta admit, I still don't know what is a nasnat. What is that? I know when I leave the restaurant, I'm supposed to have one. Y'all have a nice knot. I just don't know what that is. Man. And hey, I want to personally thank each and every one of you North Texans for the careful, considerate manner in which you drive. No, 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 I'm serious. Compared to New Yorkers, y'all are a piece of cake. In fact, I had been living here two, three weeks, driving all over town before I finally got cut off. Oh man, I remember that one though. Bimbo, big blonde hair, cell phone, minivan nearly put me in a ditch. Man, when I recovered and look up, guess what? She had New York plates. Well, like I said, I had been living in Texas two, three weeks already. I knew exactly what to do. Go home, Yankee! As I was rolling out my window, I realized I still had New York plates on my car. Now I think she was just trying to say, hey, welcome to Texas, now get the f out of my way. Seriously though, I love Texas here. Texas is great. Oh man, you know what I love most about Texas is the way two different cultures crash together and you get something different all together. Have you been down the street to this new Vietnam Mexican place, Jesus Nguyen's? Have you been there? Oh man, I didn't know what kind of food that was, so I stuck my head in the door and I said, asked the waiter, hey, what do you serve here? And he says, oh, we got a mugu gaitaka. We serve a kali asada. But mostly we serve pendejo like you. Man, I thought it was my lucky day when I walked in here earlier, man. Saw these two beautiful women, one to the left, one to the right. No guys in sight. I'm figuring no competition. That's my bag, right? So I went over to the one on the left first because she was closer. Man, she shot me down cold and hard. I've never been shot down like that before. Before I could even open my mouth, the first thing she says, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> what do you say to that? I don't know, all, all I could think to say was, baby, you're so cute, I sure hope we don't have the same taste in women because I can't stand competition like you. <laughs> so I tried my luck with the one over on the right. She was hot, oh man, she was so hot. The only thing I could think to say was, baby, you are so hot, just think of me as a long, cool glass of water. She didn't miss a beat either. She looked right up and said, oh, that's too bad, honey. I was really in the mood for a hard liquor. I just said, oh man, she's at the other end of the bar. Man, it's crazy. Now, my old lady, she says oh, women are smarter than men. You think that's true? No, it's not true. Seriously, it's not true. 
Men are every bit as smart as women, it's just that it's really hard to concentrate with a dangling between your legs. <laughs> now I'd like to try a scientific experiment to prove who's actually smarter. I will need a female volunteer to come up here and try and concentrate while I dangle it between her legs. <laughs> well, listen, before I get out of here, I gotta tell you about my daughter. She always bugs me on the way over here. Dad, Dad, tell him the Barbie joke, tell him the Barbie. That's my daughter, Barbie. Cute little five-year-old, blonde-haired, blue-eyed thing, and all I can think is every time I look at her, I can think, man, I wish she was really what really was a Barbie doll. You could buy her a brand new dress with matching accessories for $9.99. New Corvette, $29.99. Dream mansion with swimming pool, $99.99. Boyfriend with no priceless. Hey, this is Carrot Top, you're watching Comic Spotlight. Look at that! I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Well, okay. She did give me a I tell you, talk about somebody turning into a devil with a blue dress on. Damn. I'm surprised that dress is not in the Smithsonian. Actually, we did have a lot of wild sex in the White House. We even made several pornos while I was there. Maybe you've seen some of them. Yeah, that was Stand Up for America. The yeah, then there was I Feel Your Pain, Now Feel My Woody. <laughs> then there was one we made with Monica, the White House intern game, Swallow the Leader. <laughs> yeah, we made a star out of that one, baby, I'll tell you. Of course, one of my favorites was So Hard You Can Cut Diamonds With It. Yeah, I had to take a lot of Viagra making that one, baby. I was seeing blue for a week, I'll tell you. Yeah, they call me Bubba the Booty Wrangler. I'll tell you, all I can say on that is thank you, America. Thank you. What was my favorite thing about being president? That's a tough one, baby. I tell you, having Air Force One at my disposal, that was nice. I could go to parties all over the world. Of course, now living in the White House, that was a kick, too. Have all the parties you want, and everybody could sleep over, crash out. And it was a hell of a kick, giving all those pardons out the last day, I tell you. But my favorite thing had to be the government-grown marijuana. <laughs> that is some kick-ass stuff, baby. I tell you, a couple of hits and you're floating, baby. Wish everybody could try some of that, man. There'll be peace on earth. I tell you, you make one little pack with the devil, and you can have anything on earth you want, baby. How she explained me getting elected president twice. Once again, thank you, America. Thank you. Thank you. Want to do something a little different? Mr. Rogers has retired. So I've got a few people together to do auditions to replace him. First one is Ronald Reagan. Hello, this is Ronald Reagan. Would you like to be my neighbor? I sure hope so, because I could really use some help finding my car keys. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get over to my crack dealer's house and back before Nancy gets back from the beauty salon. Yeah, it takes her most of the day, but I've been jonesing since early this morning. Yeah, I became a full-time crackhead when I left the White House. Sure was easier than putting up with Nancy all the time, I tell you. Of course, I had heard her and everybody else convinced that I've got Alzheimer's. Of course, there are some similarities, you know, between being a crackhead and having Alzheimer's. You know, loss of memory, being spaced out all the time. Of course, there are some advantages to having Alzheimer's. You make new friends every day. You can hide your own Easter eggs. You can wrap your own Christmas presents. And they can't tell if you've been smoking crack. Well, come on, neighbor. I'll introduce you to the crack dealer to the rich and famous. Maybe you can convince your wife that you've got Alzheimer's, too. All 
I don't want to work too slowly on this next guy because this guy's pretty fast. This is Vince Quick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Going for a Yeah, y'all loud as hell. I like that. Hit me one more time. Come on. Come on, everybody. No, with me. With me. No. White dude out there with no rhythm. <laughs> All you had to do was follow the black guy. Yeah, I'm the only one up here. Well, except for him. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's in the band. He don't count. <laughs> <laughs> he got bling bling. You see that? He got gold teeth. I like that. <laughs> Only in America. <laughs> People dying of starvation. He said, my teeth just ain't yellow enough. <laughs> nah, it's good. You're going to whoop me. You're going to beat me up after that. You know <laughs> He's going to tear me down. Man, how y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Oh, come on. Let me hear you because I'm ready to have some fun. I'm ready to get down. I'm ready to howl. I'm ready to get naked. Amen. What's the matter, sir? You look nervous. <laughs> I won't knock you down from here. I'm believe me. That whole thing about black guys—that's a fallacy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just man. I'm just happy to be alive, man. I'm happy to be out of prison. I'm telling you because it was no, it was a pain in the butt. I ain't going back. But uh, <laughs> man, I'm just having way too much fun up here, man. I'm. I, I, you know, I, I, but there's one thing that I'm sick of stupid people. Do you know what I'm talking about? If you're sick of stupid people, let me hear you. Yeah. Man, because I'm, I'm telling you what, I want to get a rubber stamp that says stupid and just run around and bust people in the forehead. Because I, I'm serious, man. So you know they stupid. You just, they say something stupid to you, you just, your ass stupid. <laughs> now go double size me some fries. <laughs> I'm sick of stupid people, they piss me off. Like driving around Dallas, you will run into a lot of stupid people, don't you? Man, I am not from here, and I'm gonna tell you what, man, the first time I drove in Dallas, man, I had to do the crucifix thing, man, I was scared. I, it sc man, I was out on 635, God cuts me off, gives me the finger. Can you believe that? <laughs> man, I got I didn't know what to do. I was, so I just gave him the finger, he gave me the finger. I, get, I missed my damn exit, so I gave him the finger again. <laughs> Finally, he must have got because he hit his lights, pulled me over, and gave me a ticket. But <laughs> <laughs> he pulled me out the car, talking about I was DWB driving while black. He started frisking me all through here. He's like, hey, what's this? What's this? Hi. I was in Garland. Anyway, but <laughs> oh, y'all need to quit, man. Y'all gonna get me killed over there. Oh man. <laughs> nah, man, I don't have any luck driving around here. See, because see, back home, I'm from a small town called Warren, Ohio. And if you cut somebody off on the interstate, they will call you up. That's how small a town is. I was sitting at home one day and the phone rang, it was like I was like, hello? Uh, Vince, what'd you cut me off for? I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, no. What'd you cut me off for? I didn't mean to cut you off. Who the hell taught you how to drive? Mama, you did. So, you know, you don't cut off your mom. My mama was weird, man. She, she abused me. She wouldn't breastfeed me and stuff, man. It was really messed up. Isn't that abuse, ladies? Isn't that abuse? Not breastfeeding? Well, she said she wouldn't breastfeed me because I was born with teeth. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool. My grandmother, she took over. She breastfed me, so it was good. My grandmother. That's why I like the taste of powdered milk. So, <laughs> Damn it. and she could do it from across the room, so it was pretty cool. So <laughs> I love my mama, and you can too for five dollars. But uh, <laughs> oh man. No, I was talking about stupid people. I'm talking about driving, man. Driving around here just drives me crazy, man. I was out on 75 one day. Okay, check this out. I'm doing 90 miles an hour in my Yugo. I am flying. <laughs> what you laughing at? I had a good tailwind. <laughs> and I'm flying. I'm passing nobody. I got passed by three old ladies in a Lexus, y'all. 
three of them, like, all I saw was blue knuckles and white hair. They were, It was cool because they had a bumper sticker on their car that says, I break for Viagra. <laughs> and I had some. <laughs> so I got some. Anyway, but... <laughs> no, nah, don't hold me, man. There ain't nothing like an older woman, man. I like older women because where else can a young man like myself go, who's your grandson? Who's your grandson? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I'm a sick bastard, sir. <laughs> you should laugh at that. Y'all going to hell. But, <laughs> oh man, can I get a little bit more feedback out of this speaker right here? I just need a little bit more feedback out of this one right here, because I, I'm serious, man. Y'all making the hair on the back of my neck stand up, and is it, just a little bit more feedback. I, can y'all hear that? I can be, <laughs> where'd they get this band? Bands are us? <laughs> They gonna whoop me. Y'all got my back. I'm serious. They gonna tear me up. I'll just be a blurb in the newspaper. Black comic gets butt whooped by a crazy man. <laughs> you think you funny, don't you? You think you funny. <laughs> oh man, I'm just, they, I'm just messing, but they ain't looking like they laughing. But <laughs> oh man, give it up for the band. They rocking tonight, man. I'm, I'm chilling. Oh man. Trying to save that ass. Just a little bit, sir. Just a little bit. I got a lot to say. <laughs> oh man. They remind me of when I was in prison. Anyway, but uh <laughs> he looked familiar. Anyway, but <laughs> I sure do like your mouth. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Bring the boy with you. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> He gonna kill me, y'all. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh man, tell you a little something about myself. I guess I should have started like this. My name really is Vince Quick, like Video Bob said. Vince Quick. You ever met anybody named Quick, y'all? Just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. Q U I C K. Just like it's spelled, man. It, it, the only thing. See, most people get their names from like, the, you know, their families did something. Like, if you were Smith, your father was a Smith. You know, if, if Johnson, son of John. Only thing I can think of, there were some fast ass slaves in my family. <laughs> Look at that boy, he sure is quick. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'm the youngest of six kids and grew up po. Not poor, po. My family, we wasn't even po, we was just <laughs> See, a lot of people don't understand growing up po, so I will explain it to you. Like when you're rich, you got a canopy over your bed. And when you pull, you got a can of pee under your bed. That's the difference. Yeah, yeah man. My mama probably never paid more than $150 for a car. $150. And she used to brag about the fact that she never got a speeding ticket. $150 car. This car was so dang on raggedy, y'all. Every time we stopped at a stoplight, it would just shake something fierce. We'd be at a stoplight, come on. We had roaches in the back. <laughs> Not just one you've been smoking. I'll hook you up later. But, uh, because <laughs> I said roaches. I saw your lips, sir. They went like that. <laughs> oh, man, this car was raggedy, man. The driver's side window didn't roll down, so whenever we went to the drive through at McDonald's, we had to back in. <laughs> we sitting in the drive through talking about, I want to get up, I want to get up. Yeah, you white people got bubbles, we got poogies. <laughs> when you poe, you eat a lot of crazy things. We was poe, man. Y'all ever eat spam? Thank you. Dang, that's real happy about that, sir. <laughs> spam is nasty, man. Don't eat it no more. You yelling way too loud for that. <laughs> spam will mess you up, man. You know the best. You know why poe people mad when they standing on line waiting for their check? Because they eat that gummy cheese and that spam. That stuff will tighten your sphincter up so tight. <laughs> you be standing on line going, I want my check, I want my check. <laughs> spam is nasty, y'all. For those of y'all eating spam, answer me one question. What's that little piece of jelly thing in there for? You don't know? <laughs> you stupid, sir, shut up. <laughs> 
I don't mean that in a bad way, but the band, y'all got my back this time? All right. No, but I asked that question to a, 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 a crowd one time. The guy just looked at me, he said, lubricant. <laughs> can you imagine that man? You sitting there getting ready to get busy with your girl, you in the cracking a can. <laughs> you come to bed, she going, baby, how come you smell like pork? <laughs> Everybody. We'll see you next time on Comic Spotlight TV. Comic Spotlight is an RCM Media production, videotaped in front of a live audience at the Lakewood Theater in Dallas, Texas. For more information on how you can get tickets or be a guest on Comic Spotlight, visit us online at www.comicspotlight.com. This is Video Bob, and I'll see you next time on Comic Spotlight, comedy for Generation X.